Second down and eight for Colorado at their own 42. And they'll run it with Savion Wilkerson, cuts it back, first down across midfield, and he's out of bounds in Utah territory. Good job by the offensive line. You see the right tackle coming off, blocking the linebacker. Creates the crease to get around the edge. Now, even though the run game has been a struggle for Colorado this season, Deion Sanders was very complimentary. Stop, hit, and drop, and the ball is out, and Utah's got it. Van Fillinger fell on the football. The strip sack from Connor O'Toole and recovered by Fillinger, and Utah's got the football. They didn't want to run the risk against these potent defensive ends like O'Toole right there of being able to get a rush on a quarterback already short on the roster of quarterbacks. So we'll step away after that because it's the entire season as Jalen Glover to the second level. Cuts it back to the outside. Glover goes inside and tripped up down near the 10. An impressive run by Glover. He's right out of Utah's books, Rocky. They want to run the football. They want to be that type of defense as well as that type of offense that controls the clock. And they're doing just that right now. First and goal, a run. Batari on the rollout. Looking, he'll run, cuts it back. He's in, touchdown Utah. Luke Batari, a two-yard touchdown run. Oh, good for him. That's a great sign. You get your first start. You want to make an impression. You've got your family here. You decide to take it in for the first score. Back leads to a short field for Utah. And the extra point. Cole Becker makes it 7 nothing. And makes it now third and three for Batari. And wide open. His first pass is complete and stepping out of bounds. Mikey Matthews to the 45. Thinking that if you're going to run the ball, you're going to have to deal with more than you can block. But opening him up to keep those safeties honest, wide open, as you see it. You mentioned it's a nice pitch and catch for him. 15 yards and Batari's first pass attempt. Of and Cole Becker lines this one up, and it is good. 10 nothing Utah. And this is a backward pass and launching it downfield. Open. Touchdown, Colorado. Dylan Edwards. 30 yards on a tremendous design play. And wide open was Dylan Edwards, the freshman running back. Amata. And he connects on the extra point. 59 yards in five play. Second and four is King motions again. Luke Batari under center, the handoff, and this is Jalen Glover. Actually, Jaquindon Jackson again, the ball carrier, and he should have enough. And Jaquindon Jackson takes a direct snap, and the former quarterback looking around, and he's brought down behind the line. Good discipline that time by Colorado's defense. Second down, the give to Glover. Slices through the hole. What a move in space. And Jalen Glover brings up a first and goal. He's untouched as he comes out of the backfield, but this is the cut he makes right there. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> 19 yards, stopping on a dime, and the jump cut by Bentley. Or by Glover, I should Glover. say. Yeah, big, big, exp uh, you know, explosive play so far. Good snap. The hold is good. The kick is good. And it's 13 7 Utah. But the Colorado sideline pretty pumped that they got a stop down there and forced Utah to take the three and keep it a one score game. Dig routes. The outside, Travis Hunter, another catch, and he breaks a tackle and he steps out of bounds. He's out at the Utah 48 yard line. Hunter kept going. Now we'll stop the clock with 58 seconds left in the half, but the Buffs are in Utah territory. See the replay? And oh, that toe right there. Last left foot when he came down. That's what the ref saw, and that's what stopped the clock. Except From the pocket, empty backfield. Stop, takes a shot for the end zone. Diving catch, touchdown. What a catch. Travis Hunter laying out in Colorado. Can take the lead with the extra point. 29 yard. Travis Hunter found it, and he went out and got a little double move. See him trying to catch up. Just a good play by Travis Hunter. That's why he's so special right there. The ruling on the field of a touchdown is under review. Is They're cool? reviewing to see if Hunter indeed did control it. After review, the receiver lost control of the ball. It's an incomplete pass. So they take the touchdown off the board, reverse the call. No touchdown, so wipe out the 29-yard. And Mata 
Has enough leg, and it is good. Longest field goal of the season for Alejandro Mata early in the season, and it's 13-10 in favor of Utah. Well, that's a good answer for Colorado. I know it's not the touchdown, but they have had some. They have been able to move the football today so far in this first half, and we're going punch for punch with Utah. And launches this one toward Jimmy Horn Jr. And it's a cutback. That's actually the freshman running back, Dylan Edwards. And Edwards breaking tackles. Penalty marker is thrown in. There's two down on the play as Edwards is run out of bounds right near the 30 yard line of Utah. But there are three penalty markers down right near the 30 yard line at the other end of the field. Return. Personal foul. Illegal blindside block. Return team, number 49. Penalties half the distance to the goal. First down, Colorado. So Taj Alston called for the illegal block and the personal foul moves it to the Colorado 14. There it is right there. And the gate's a big return. He wants to come back. And the play action. And the pass, nice catch in space. And into Colorado territory goes Landon King. Break, he found Landon King on the crossing round. Just nice, nice little simple pass. Put it out in front of him so he doesn't have to slow down to catch the football, and then King does some more yards. Colorado blitzing. It's picked up. Batari, and it's complete break and a tackle. And it's Luca Calderella down to the 20-yard line. They'll spot it back at the 22, but Calderella with the kick. Got man-on-man -oh -man coverage, and the linebackers are blitzing. The line and the backs do a good job of picking up the blitz. And then Batari's able to find his receiver on a slam route. With the linebacker gone, he can throw that, and he throws it high to where his receiver has to go up and get it. Sorry, quarterback sneak and the push from behind and he's in. Touchdown Utah, the second rushing score for Luke Batari. Good push by the line. Score with your man. That's exactly what the Utah. Touchdowns for Batari and now it's Cole Becker for the extra point. And he nails it right down the middle and a 10 point Utah lead. Yoni Vaki takes the inside handoff from Luke Batari, slips through the line. And into Colorado territory, and Vaki is down to the Buffs 40 yards. Big plays like that, where you have, see, only, it's just an off-tackle run. He slips up in the gap, and you see Saunders trying to corral him until the rest of the help gets there. But it's those, those big chunks of plays. So Vaki now, six carries, 59 yards. And Becker. Against his former team, Cole Becker is now three for three. Stop, can't find anybody. Launches downfield, open is Michael Harrison. And he's out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. Over the middle, it's Hunter the catch. And he's into the end zone, touchdown Colorado. Travis Hunter from Ryan Staub. And for Staub, his first career touchdown pass, they're not caught. Has made it a one-score game. Whether it's been his tight end, Harrison, or in this tight case, Travis Hunter, this route has worked for them today. The in cut by the receivers of tight ends. You see it coming on the second level. Nice dart by Staub. Seven yard drive. And the extra point is good from Alejandro Mata. Direct snap to Jaquinda Jackson. He has the first down. Lowers the shoulder, gets to mid-fensive line. Opened up an enormous hole. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's poetry in motion. I love to see that. Direct snap to Jaquinda Jackson. And Jackson driving close. He should have a first down by the spot. Yeah, by the spot of the side, Judge. I think you're right. You get a little extracurricular in there, people shoving around, the attitudes are going in. And that is a first down for Utah. Penalty on his team forces him back. A little wham play where you pull the tight end to cut the backside. There's that first down. Down to wire. Deion was so meticulous. That's why he's a Hall of Famer. And there is Deion Sanders. And his first season at Colorado ends with the Buffs 4 and 8. Win number 8 for Utah. Give something.